The Demon Bear has haunted Danielle Moonstar's dreams to horrifying life. It took her parents, and now it has returned for her, and only the combined efforts of her fellow new mutants can stop it from finishing the job. We going to Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A Week in Geekdom here on YouTube. This time we're doing a very first on this channel. I am reviewing my very first X-Men book on A Week in Geekdom. I have read X-Men books in the past, but they're not necessarily my cup of tea, so I decided to go with something that genuinely piqued my interest. Now, uh, two of my favorite characters in the X-Men roster, or the mutant roster, I should say, is Scarlet Witch and Magique. So I went with that route, and I picked up the New Mutants Demon Bear trilogy, saga, book, compilation, whatever. Basically, this is a compilation book that has to do with the symbolic character of the Demon Bear. Now, if you don't know what the heck this is, basically, the New Mutants have to face this terror in the night for, that stems from the character of Daniel Moonstar and she is able to pull her victims nightmares and dreams into life or whatnot and there's this uh, Cheyenne uh, legend about the demon bear and stuff like that and the demon bear took her parents and family members and all that stuff and now it's coming for her this um, nightmarish creature that only she can see apparently Although later on, the rest of the cast is able to uh, see the character and interact with this huge freaking bear. Like, when you see this drawing, it's legit. The size of the thing is huge. Now, the problem with this book is that it is a compilation of uh, tales. It says in the back that it's like a trilogy of the Demon Bear story. First with Claremont and uh, Bill Sienkiewicz and the work that they pulled off with the New Mutants and then with X-Force in the 90s and then the uh, other X-Force series in the early 2000s forming this sort of connective tissue between the three series and the Demon Bear being this anchor with all of uh, the pages in this book. The plus size of this book Definitely has to be the Claremont and Sienkiewicz stuff. The rest of the stuff I'll get to later, but those starting issues in this book is just fantastic. You get a real dynamic sense of danger, claustrophobia, fear, and just the outright terror of this unstoppable force that's coming for this young girl that is praying to have the strength to be able to defeat this wicked enemy and it has to do with life rebirth death and the symbolism that that implies of course she gets help from the rest of the mu new mutants wolfsbane cannonball sunspot magic uh, all these great characters the, now the parts that aren't exactly necessary are pulled from other titles and they're presented more as excerpts from uh, like the new mutants or the x-force stuff and that can be Okay, I guess, you know, you're just getting the bare essentials, see what I did there, to understand uh, the story and what the character of Moonstar, of Danny Moonstar, is going through and facing this huge demon. But in the long run, having not read this material ages ago, I know I'm going to miss on the details and I am going to uh, find it a little bit superficial because I, I, I didn't grow up with these characters nor have I read all their stories and all that stuff to get to a point where I can say like, oh my god, this is happening to these characters and I really feel for it. But kudos to these creators for making the story relatable no matter at what point in time you're reading it because it just it's great writing it's a great suspenseful story with a group of teenagers that are left on their own on this uh, hospital because the character of Danny is attacked by the bear and she is in critical condition so the rest of the mutants of the new mutants have to uh, hold down the fort 
there is no larger X-Men team to help out, none of that stuff. So you really get a sense of danger and inclusiveness, and it's all got to do with Bill's art, which is just legendary. I could just spend the whole video praising uh, Bill's artwork and just how flawless and beautiful and wacky and alienish the bizarre way that it is drawn. And it perfectly complements the book because we're talking about nightmare uh, visions and demons and all that uh, spooky stuff and the art makes the story look and feel like you're a part of the nightmare. That is, that can only be done by an expert artist and just Sienkiewicz just knocks it out of the park. It's a legendary story. There's not a whole lot I can add to an otherwise stellar story and book. Now the negative of the Demon Bear trilogy book, if you will, the X-Force stuff is very discombobulated to me. It feels way too 90s. Actually, the book was in 91, 92, something like that, written by uh, John Francis Moore and a bunch of other people. And uh, yeah, it was way too 90s with like excessive costumes and the demon bear wasn't as intimidating and it got resolved way too quickly and then it moves on to a connective tissue of sorts with the character of Warpath in the Yoast uh, X4 series where he phases a bear of his own but it doesn't really have to do with what you read at the beginning with the new mutants so when you say it's a trilogy i'm like eh, it's a symbolic trilogy of stories regardless the book is fantastic i loved it if you're getting this book you gotta get it for the beginning stories not for the x-force stuff and you are paying a uh, low price if you're getting it like in stock trades or something like that but for the full retail price of 20 bucks i'm like eh, you know it's it's basically uh, claremont sinkevich and a bunch of colorful extras that I really did not care for and honestly I felt kind of bored by it that's my honest opinion on the demon bear what do you guys think I am a I'm, I guess I'm a fan of the mu new mutants I'm, I'm really digging the team so I'm very much looking forward to picking up older material the epic collections and all that stuff and reading about this team because one I was already a fan of Magique and now I'm a fan of uh, Danny Moonstar because this is a character that you know she doesn't have like the strongest power set but she's fierce loyal determined to set things right uh, you know and avenge her family and just confront her fears and I think it's a lesson that people should take away that no matter uh, how dark it gets you gotta face your fears and if you've got good people by your side I think you can pull it off but yeah the uh, new mutants the demon bear is pretty freaking fantastic I highly recommend it what do you guys think uh, what's your favorite new mutant story let me know down below i'm very interested in finding out as always you can follow me on your favorite social media platform just type of we can geek them and i'm there for you guys all right i have got to go i will catch all of you on our next episode <laughs>